Thomas and Friends, Big World Big Adventures. It was a sunny day on the island of Sodor. Thomas the Tank Engine was excited to meet a race car named Ace. He was in a round the world rally, speeding through five continents. I've always wanted to see the world, Thomas peeped. You should do it, replied Ace. You could be the first railway engine to go all around the world. The next day, Thomas and Ace set sail for the first continent, Africa. After that, they would go on to South America, North America, Asia, and finally back to Soto through Europe. When they arrived in Africa, Ace left without Thomas. He sped to a city called Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, but Thomas had to stick to the rails. A yard manager gave Thomas locked up trucks to deliver to the faraway city. The little engine set off all by himself. It was hard work pulling the trucks up the big hills. Luckily, Thomas met an engine named Nia, who offered to help. Two engines are much better than one, she peeped. Thomas replied that he didn't need any help. But Thomas did need help. The trucks were too heavy for him to pull alone. Nia stayed with Thomas and helped him with his heavy trucks. Nia also helped when they met a giant elephant blocking the tracks. She and the truck sang a lullaby, and the elephant wandered off to nap beneath a tree. Nia traveled with Thomas all the way to Dar es Salaam. Please keep your eyes open for my friend Ace, Thomas peeped. Nia's friend Kawaku said he hadn't seen some race cars, but they had left. Ace must have gone without me again, said Thomas. He doesn't sound like a very good friend, said Nia. Thomas knew Ace's next race was in Rio de Janeiro, in South America. Nia asked if she could help Thomas find Ace, but he told her to go home. Then he steamed to the docks and was loaded onto a ship to continue on his big adventure. At sea, Thomas was surprised to find Nia on the ship. She wanted to travel with him and be the second engine to go all the way around the world. Thomas was also surprised to find Ace was on board too. Why didn't you wait for me? Thomas asked the yellow racing car. You want to be free spirit, don't you? Ace asked. When they reached South America, Ace sped off and left Thomas alone again. Thomas wanted to follow Ace around South America to the next rally in North America. Luckily, a railway worker needed Thomas to carry coffee to San Francisco in the United States. Nia offered to help and they set off together through the rainforest pulling the heavy load. On the way, they found Ace. He had an accident while racing, so they loaded him up and gave him a ride. When they reached North America, Ace didn't want to go to San Francisco. He wanted Thomas to take him to the Salt Flats in Utah so he could get repaired and meet the other race scene cars. Ace convinced Thomas to play a trick on Nia, and they sped off without her. Ace told Thomas to race across the western lands. Thomas went so fast, he came off the tracks. An old mining engine called Biao and his friends got Thomas back onto the rails. As everyone worked together to help, Thomas realized he'd done a terrible thing to Nia. We should have stayed with her, he peeped. It was not nice to play a trick on her. At the Salt Flats, Ace met up with the other racers, but Thomas wanted to deliver his coffee and find Nia to apologize. He steamed onto San Francisco with his load, but Nia was not there. 
Thomas hoped he could find her at the next stop, China. Thomas found Nia on a snowy mountain in China. I'm sorry, I wish I hadn't upset you. Can we still be friends? He peeped. But before Nia could respond, there was an avalanche. It hit Nia and knocked her off the tracks. Thomas was too small to pull her back onto the rails by himself. Just then, a Chinese engine named Yan Bao came crashing through the snow. His big plow cleared the way, and he pulled both engines to safety. Thomas thanked Yan Bao for being big and strong. We're bigger and stronger when we work together, said Nia. So where are you going now? asked Yan Bao. Continent number five. Europe, said Thomas and Nia. Thomas and Nia then set off to Europe and the island of Sodor. Thomas introduced Nia to Emily, Percy, James, and Henry, Edward, and Gordon. His friends steamed with happiness to see the two engines who had traveled on a big world adventure. The End